so this is a quarter note, this will be a half note, and then eighth note, and then a quarter note, and then the letters E, F. Okay, great. Yeah, I got this. Hi, everyone. In today's video on musical symbols, we will focus on note values and letter names for the notes. Let's get started. Musical notes are used to notate the duration and pitch in music. Together with the rests, they create rhythm, melody and harmony. Note and rest values tell us the duration of the note in music. Although rests are silent, we need to be careful not to forget to count them as part of our music. Letter names are the musical alphabet that we use to determine the pitch of the note. Music uses the following note values to indicate the duration. A whole note is four beats long, and has the longest note duration. A whole rest corresponds with the whole note in its duration and it lasts for four beats. A whole rest looks like a hole in the ground. A half note is two beats long and is half duration of a whole note. A half rest works just like a half note and is two beats long. A half rest looks like a hat. A quarter note is one beat long and is a quarter duration of a whole note. A quarter rest works just like a quarter note and is one beat long. A quarter note looks like a letter Z or a lightning strike. An eighth note is one half of beat long and is eighth duration of a whole note. An eighth rest works just like an eighth note and is one half of the beat long. Eighth rest looks like number seven. If you are still confused, you can think of note values with the help of a circle, a pie, or a pizza. Imagine a whole note as a full circle which has four beats. When we cut the circle in half, we create two equal parts and each part now has two beats. These are our half notes. We then cut the circle again and get four quarters of the circle. Each part of the circle now represents a quarter note which has one beat. We continue cutting the circles to get smaller parts and these are now our eighth notes. Each eighth note now has one half of a beat. We can continue cutting to 60 notes, which are one quarter of a beat long. This diagram can help you visualize the note values and their duration, so you might want to pause this video and try to draw this diagram on your own before you continue. Let's now move on to the musical alphabet or the letter names for the notes. Notes are indicated either on the lines or in the spaces of the staff. The position of the note on the staff indicates the pitch of the note. For example, the note on the first line will sound lower than the note in the third space. In order to name the notes with the letter names, we use the first seven letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F and G. The letter names indicate notes in an ascending order from low to high. After the final G note, the sequence begins again. Sometimes we need to notate pitches that are too high or too low to fit on the staff. In that case, we use additional lines that are slightly longer than the note head. These lines are called ledger lines. Let's name the notes in the treble clef. We know that the note on the second line of the staff is a G. When we try to name the note above G, we are at the end of the alphabetic sequence so we go back to the beginning. Therefore, the note above G is A. The note above A is B. Above B is C. Above C is D. And above D is E. What is the note on the top fifth line? You're right, it's an F. When reading the notes that are indicated below G, we read letters in reverse alphabetical order. The first note below G is F. Below F is E. Below E is D. What is the note below D called? You're right, it's a C. In bass clef, the process is identical to the treble clef. The only difference is that the identified note is now F, which is located on the fourth line of the staff. From F, we move up to a G, 
and above G we have A. We can continue with this process higher on the staff and onto the ledger lines. When reading the notes that are indicated below F, we read letters in reverse alphabetical order. The first note below F is an E. Below E is a D. Below D is a C. Below C is a B. Below B is an A. And below A is a G. What do you think? that this note on the legend line is called. You're right, it's an E. Congratulations! You can now identify different note values and name the pitches with Latin names. You're on a great path to become a confident music score reader. Enjoy practicing!